smart home. This video is about DTMF and one of its usages. DTMF stands for Dual Tone Multi Frequency. It's the technical term for the sounds you hear when you press the keys on your phone, for example. DTMF does more than just letting you know that you have pressed a key. Each key has its own sound. Every click sends two tones on two different frequencies. Knowing this, let's show you how you can open door by DTMF in Acubox. Before continuing, subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. Connect to your Acubox door phone and indoor monitors via web interface by entering their IP addresses in browser. This is my door phone and this is my indoor monitor. It must be mentioned that for a reliable intercom system, you must assign static IP addresses for your AccuWorks devices. To do so, navigate to Network, Basic, choose a static IP and enter IP addresses based on your network IP range. Let's start configuring DTMF. This is my door phone. I navigate to account section, advanced. Find DTMF section. We have the similar section in indoor monitor. Account, advanced, DTMF. The setting of this section must be the same in all indoor monitors and door phones. In door phone, after checking this section, navigate to intercom, relay. My door phone has two relays. Trigger delay specifies the delay time in seconds for each relay to be triggered. And we have hold delay in seconds, which by default is set to three seconds. After triggering each relay, they are triggered for three seconds. We have DTMF mode. By default, it is set to one digit DTMF. You can change it to two digits, three digits, and four digits DTMF. If one digit DTMF is selected, you see that this row is enabled. By default, number one is chosen for relay A. You can change it from the drop down list. Also, you can specify a number or let's say a key for relay B to trigger relay B. I change one digit DTMF to three digit DTMF. You see that this row is enabled after choosing three digit DTMF, and one digit DTMF row is disabled. Enter a three digit number for each of the relays. Submit. At the bottom of this page, we have open relay via DTMF. This is the authorization part. By default, only contact list is selected. So only IP devices that are in contact list can open the door via DTMF. You can change it to all numbers or not. How to check contact list? On the left menu, navigate to contacts. Select access allow list. Here we have the contacts list or let's say access allow list. You can delete or add to the list.
Also, if you navigate to Intercom Basic, here we have a list. By entering the IP address of your indoor monitors in this list, they are considered to be in a low list. Configuring DTMF indoor phone is done. Let's navigate to indoor monitor. In indoor monitor, navigate to phone, select relay. We have this section, DTMF code one, I enter the exact number I entered in door phone. You see this one. And in DTMF code two, I enter the second one. In soft key, in talking page section, as my indoor monitor has three key, they have their default setting. I can change them. For example, disable the third key, change the name of key number one to front door, change the relay that must be triggered by this key to remote relay DTMF1. Change the name of key 2 to backdoor, for example. Change the relay to DTMF2. Submit. Configuration is done. Let's test. As you saw, I can open door using these two keys or entering the numbers. Welcome, please come in. Welcome, please come in. As you see in door phone relay section, we have open relay via HTTP. So we can open door using HTTP command. Also in indoor monitors, we can trigger relays using HTTP. In next video, I will cover it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. I'll see you in the next video.